Speaking of jails, new tonight, the state of Alabama is looking to consolidate 11 state men's prisons into three regional mega prisons. The plan would cost the state nearly $1 billion. State Capitol reporter Rashad Hudson was in the governor's office today as she laid out her vision. And during that meeting with the governor today, I asked her why should the average Alabamian care when it comes to the conditions of the prison system. She said it's because of these pictures. They show how costly it's becoming for the state. It's been called an Alabama problem for years. And the Alabama prison problem is an Alabama problem, and we Alabama have got to solve it. The governor's plan calls for replacing 11 major prisons with three regional mega prisons. It's because of public safety. The system that we have right now is creating challenges to the public safety of the citizens of the state of Alabama. One of those regional prisons would centralize medical and mental health care services. To create an environment that uh, would enable them the best opportunity to get the treatment and recovery. The Southern Poverty Law Center has been in vigorous court battles with the DOC. They say they have major concerns about the specialty prison. That begs to have medically and mentally vulnerable people preyed upon. That said, I think it's important to have adequate medical facilities. The governor estimates the cost for the new prisons would be around $900 million. Of course, this is just a proposal. None of this is finalized. The governor says she is leaving all options on the table in order to get this project completed. Reporting in Montgomery, Rashad Hudson, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can